The Catholic website Countdown to the Kingdom has cited one Californian soul, his anonymity born of his humility. This mystic has reputedly been experiencing locutions, hearing Jesus Christ within his soul. Later, he was also visited by Saint Padre Pio and also had locutions from Saint Therese of the Little Flower, Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Catherine of Siena, and Our Blessed Mother. Recently, this mystic received the following message from the Blessed Mother, specifically addressed to priests. What are you afraid of? My beloved sons, be ever more docile and allow yourselves to be led by me with complete confidence. In the darkness of this hour of trial for the Church, you are called by me to walk in the light. The light shines forth from my Immaculate Heart and comes to you to envelop you and illumine your path. Stand firm, never again must you doubt. Your road is safe because it has been marked out for you by your Heavenly Mother. How much my mother's heart is saddened by the doubt and mistrust which is taking more and more hold of the souls of so many of my priest's sons. Why do you doubt? What are you afraid of? Jesus redeemed you from the evil one at the very hour of his triumph. My son Jesus gave you life forever at the very hour when he was slain on the cross. At the moment of his death, he set you all free from death. My church, of which I am the mother, lives again the life of Christ and is now called to tread the same path he trod. Of what, then, are you afraid? Of a world that has hurled itself with violent hatred against you of Satan who has succeeded in making his way into the heart of the church and of reaping his victims from among its very pastors. Or of the error which menaces it, or the sin which darkens it more and more, or the infidelity which floods it. This, my beloved sons, is for my church still the hour of Satan, and of the power of darkness. It will be also immolated like Christ on the cross, and be called to die for the salvation and the renewal of the world. And since this is the hour of your purification, it is above all the hour of your suffering. Could it perhaps be this that you fear? But what if the Father has called you, one by one, from all eternity for this hour? And what if your Heavenly Mother has long since chosen you and prepared you for this hour? Live then in serenity of spirit and without fear, even in the midst of the anxieties and threats of your time. And so I say again, do not be always peering into the future to see what is going to happen. Live only the present moment with trust and complete abandonment, in this heart of mine. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.